Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect your iPhone to your projector. And we set up projectors and screens every single day. Some days we set up 10, 15, 20 different screens depending on what's going on. So we put this video together with some tips to help you set up your iPhone and your projector. So before we show you how to set up your projector and screen, I'm going to show you what you need to get started. You'll need your projector, your screen, your iPhone, an HDMI cable, and we recommend the official From Apple Lightning to HDMI adapter. If you want to see current pricing or specs or anything like that for this adapter, we have a link in the description below. Now the reason that we recommend the official from Apple Lightning to HDMI adapter is because we've discovered that Apple does a lot of software updates and security updates on the iPhone. A lot of those security updates change the functionality of the Lightning port. They're trying to prevent unauthorized hardware from accessing unauthorized areas of the phone and a side effect of that is sometimes they make changes that will lock out third-party lightning to HDMI adapters but we believe that Apple will always support the adapters that they sell and they'll provide the firmware updates and everything will work for you so that's why we recommend always buying the adapter from Apple, even though it does cost a couple extra dollars. So first thing that we'll do is we'll turn our projector on. It's important to note that if you're having issues connecting your iPhone to your projector, the first thing that we recommend that you do is you restart the projector and you restart your phone. In our experience, that will resolve the problem about 99% of the time. For everything else, we're gonna keep offering you tips and advice for things to look for when you're setting this up. Now, while the projector is turning on, we're going to plug our HDMI cable into the projector. I typically always just plug it into HDMI 1. Sometimes there are multiple inputs on a projector. But just use HDMI input 1 unless there's an issue with that input. Next, we'll connect the HDMI cable to the Apple adapter. And we'll connect our Apple adapter to the bottom of the iPhone. So once that connection is made, sometimes it does take a couple seconds for the projector to recognize your phone. If for whatever reason the projector does not show your phone within about 5 or 10 seconds, most uh, projectors have an input select button here, so we're just going to click that. On the Epson projectors, it'll just automatically search all the different inputs on the back of the projector. It'll find the one that you plugged into, and then it'll pull it up on the screen. So sometimes that will solve your issue. Now, if that doesn't work, please do keep in mind that HDMI cables are not locking connectors. Sometimes they can be loose and they do not work correctly and they fall out, so just double check that everything is tight. Now you'll see that the screen went black. That's because the projector will not show your iPhone if your iPhone is locked. So we're gonna unlock the, uh, the iPhone here and it'll come back up. Now the good thing about this is that you can show almost any type of content uh, from your iPhone, but you will notice that you will have orientation and resolution issues. For some reason, we have never been able to get the iPhone to display horizontally. In the default menu, it will always crop the sides and show it vertically. But if we open something like YouTube, it will show a full-size video, like you can see on behind me here, and you can hit play, so that video will play. But on your iPhone, you see a two-screen experience. This means that you can scroll through and you can see and queue up next videos if that's something that you want to do. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is opening Keynote. So if you open Keynote, you can see here that we're in our presentation mode, so we'll exit out of this. This was open from previous. So here's our slides that we have organized in a presentation. If we wanted to show a presentation, we can hit play. This will show full screen on the screen behind us, and on our screen, we can see the current and next slide. Now we can change the settings on Keynote as well, so we can see current and notes, if that's what we want, or we can see next and notes. So say we want to see current and notes. This allows us to see the current slide that's on the screen behind us, plus any notes that we may have typed in this box here. I'm going to go back the way it was, where it says current and next. Now we can see here, we can just scroll through various slides until we get to the end of our presentation and it will end. Next, I'm gonna show you PowerPoint. So on PowerPoint, 
We have a presentation here as well. But what we're going to notice with PowerPoint is there is no second screen experience. It's full screen behind us, and we can just go next. And both are essentially mirrored aside from the resolution issues where there's black bars on the iPhone and it's full screen on the projector. Now, it is important to note that by default, audio will come out of your iPhone through the HDMI cable into the back of the projector. So if you're showing video content that needs audio, you need to pull the audio out of the projector uh, using a headphone output or something like that. That's the easiest way to do it. There is no longer a headphone jack coming out of the iPhone. So that means since we've already used up the lightning output from the iPhone, that we'll have to use the headphone jack out of the projector if we want to connect this to external speakers. Otherwise, we just need to turn up the volume on the projector in order to get sound in the room that we're presenting in. We hope this video is helpful. We have some links in the description below for pricing for all the different things that we've shown here if you want to look that up. Otherwise, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for watching.